In June of 1944, a 14-year-old boy was executed in the electric chair in South Carolina. Three months earlier, George Stinney Jr., an African-American, and his sister were playing in their yard. Two white girls, ages eight and 11, stopped and asked them where they could find flowers. Later, those girls failed to return home and a search party was organized to find them. The following morning, their dead bodies were found in a shallow ditch. 14-year-old Stinney was arrested. The only evidence against him was the circumstantial fact that he had spoken with the girls the day before. Stinney was subjected to hours of interrogation without his parents or an attorney. The sheriff later claimed he confessed to the murders, although no written or signed statement was presented. Stinney faced a sham trial, virtually alone, with no African-Americans allowed inside the courthouse, and his lawyer failed to call a single witness. The entire trial, including jury deliberations, lasted less than three hours. George Stinney Jr. was convicted of first degree murder. He was the youngest person executed in the United States in the 20th century.